Who invented the first AC generator? Now we know from our studies on uh, the war of currents that it's obviously not going to be George Edison, sorry, Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison is the one who was trying to push forward DC current and not in fact AC current. Uh, George Westinghouse seems likely because he was of course the one who promoted the idea of AC power, but he did not invent it. Uh, AC, the AC generator and AC motors uh, were in fact uh, a brainchild of Nikola Tesla. So D is the correct answer. Question 8. Which of the following is not required for any type of AC generator? Is it permanent magnets, slip rings, a split ring commutator, or a coil of wire? Now this one should be fairly obvious. We know uh, that AC generators and motors often contain slip rings and permanent magnets in order to keep the coil spinning, and that means that we need a coil of wire as well. In fact, the split ring commutator is, uh, only appears in DC motors. Uh, so C is the correct answer. This is in fact the main thing that separates a DC motor from an AC motor. Question 9. The torque on a coil and a motor is either greatest when the plane of the coil is parallel to the magnetic field, greatest when the plane of the coil is perpendicular to the magnetic field, constant at all times, or not large enough to affect the operation of the motor. Right away we can see that D is wrong because the torque is what causes the motor to turn. If the torque didn't affect the motor, then it wouldn't be a motor. Uh, so let's try and figure this out. If we have a coil in a magnetic field, it needs to turn, right? Now, the force will always be straight up or straight down, depending on which way the current is flowing. If the coil is horizontal like this, then this will obviously tend to turn the coil. If, on the other hand, it's already standing up vertically and looks more like this, then the forces produced will just pull straight up and down. They won't actually turn the coil at all. It means that uh, when the plane of the coil is perpendicular to the magnetic field, we in fact get no torque. So you can see from that that we're going to get maximum torque during A, when the coil is parallel to the magnetic field.